Hello everyone! In this video we're going to be building a Tudor style cottage in this lot in Windenburg where you can normally find this starter home that has some really strange proportions. So I wanted to make something that was cuter than that and I based it off of this image that I found on the internet. It wasn't a strict thing, I wasn't trying to recreate it exactly. But I took this as a starting point and so I made this basic shape and I added an awning and two dormers which I sized down so that they wouldn't look ridiculous on such a small house, as well as a small porch. And one of the things that I really wanted to keep was this sort of overgrown landscape which is interesting because in the picture there's a lot of plants right on the house but everything around it looks like really manicured. The grass looks completely even and taken care of, so I wasn't a big fan of, of this house being super perfect and so I wanted to have some more whimsy. I really like that idea and so I also decided to have a pond in here so that it looked a bit more whimsical and almost magical. I wasn't thinking that any occults lived here, but I don't know, maybe they do. It's really just a very small cottage here in Windenburg in in this style of the things that come with that bag. I try not to use too many bags and I think that if you have get together you can download this lot and then you'll have almost everything that the main structure uses. Although I did use the chimneys from Cats and Dogs because I thought that they fit the style and the color scheme better. I did try many many chimneys in here and I got out all of that footage because it was kind of frustrating just trying one chimney and then trying another and changing the swatches and in the end just keeping these ones. But yeah, now we're just adding a few more decorations all from get together to this place. Well, the little flower cart and the well as well as those logs are all from that pack. Here in the front I added stuff from, from the laundry day stuff pack, such as some plants and crates and other stuff like that. I felt that the rustic style of these things really fit this house in particular. I was going for a house that looked kind of older, but I was thinking maybe that the Sims who live here live in the present time, they just like this house. Or maybe they don't. I think I don't even have a TV in here, so you could really play in here however you would like. And if you are interested in downloading this build, it's going to be up in the gallery under my ID, which is very new. I will also have that link down in the description in case that's easier for you. But anyway, I have added a bath with some terrain paint. It doesn't connect to the sort of driveway that is next to the lot, but I thought that this looked okay. And I also added a fence and a red gate because the image had that. And it was a different gate, but I still wanted to keep that inspiration in here. It is not an exact match for the for the picture, but I like that because it allowed me to sort of make my own version. But anyway, I wanted this fence to be very organic in shape and I felt that it would make the build more unique and add some charm to it. This is where I add that pond. And while I am not the best at terrain manipulation, I think that the pond came out okay, I probably should have added some more vegetation to it. But I did remember to add terrain paint to this pond as well as a special effect on the water because I was thinking that it having clear water was a bit strange. So I just added this, this effect that has some leaves and next to it I wanted to have a little bench space. So I thought that was really cute. I, I added it underneath that magical tree that you can find from Debug. I believe that's space game. So if you ever want to, uh, tree that looked a bit magical, you can use that one without needing any packs. But anyway, I I did add a lot of terrain paint to this lot, a lot more than I normally do. Not only underneath the building and the trees and such, but I really wanted to have some pathways in here. I often forget them or I just don't think about adding them, but I really wanted this house to look finished in that sense. So even underneath the picnic bench, I made this special area with some stones and I also added stones underneath the decorations I have by the front door. 
because I was thinking that this place wouldn't be so polished and like manicured as other houses. I even added some more vines and stuff to the walls of the house because I really didn't want this to look like very clean and polished and like manicured and all of that. So here I am making that circle of rocks to go underneath the picnic table and then I will add some more terrain paint so that it doesn't look like just an earth path. And I also, at the very end, I think I finished connecting that flower arranging table and to these other planters. I was thinking that this scene really likes nature, so there's everything to garden. Well, you can't fish in this pond unless you add one of those fishing signs, but you could if you want. So I suppose that if you wanted a witch or a spellcaster to live here, it would be a very easy thing to just add a cauldron and it would have the right vibe. So anyway, I think that this is now going to be almost the end of the landscaping for now. I added some rocks from Divog next to the fence so that it looks like it curves because of a reason and not just for whimsy. I wanted this to be a tiny house and I am not sure if I wanted it to be a starter home. But somewhere along the way I realized that it wasn't going to happen and in the end I think this costs around 33,000 simoleons or something like that, so... Not to start your home, but it is a tier 2 tiny house, so it does have some perks that come with it. But anyway, now we're going to be working inside and... I made a bit of a different kitchen to what I normally do. I really wanted to add this sink from Get Together instead of having a normal kitchen sink on a counter, but in the end I decided to have it here in the corner instead of next to the counters and I ended up just having one counter, so that Sims can prep their meals on that. I did cut out a lot of the footage from the bathroom because there was a lot of back and forth and I tried to have a custom shower in it and it just wasn't working, so I was finding that a bit frustrating, so I ended up just showing how I rearrange stuff once I have made that bathroom a bit larger and I used only stuff from Get Together and the base game for the fixtures and I also decided that the bathtub needed some tile behind it and I thought that came out really well. I used this green one from Parenthood and here in this living space I just added a small dining space, it's just a two-seater table and the chairs are mismatched which I thought was really cute. One of the chairs is from Cats and Dogs and the other one is from Paranormal. And on the other side of the house we're going to have a bed and a bench, which is going to be sort of like the living room. At first I thought of using this bed from Discover University, but I guess I thought it looked like too fancy for such a small and rustic space. So I ended up changing that out for a red bed from the base game that is also sort of rustic and also the color complemented the green wallpaper pretty well. But now I am going to be adding some more stuff to the to the bathroom, just making it look finished. And one thing that I like to do when I am working on these on these older style houses is to instead of adding the the soap bottle, I add those like Lego pieces that come from Parenthood. They are in debug and I think those look like a bar of soap. And I also wanted to add some wax from Paranormal. I thought it looked like melted candles and I thought that would make it look more like what I wanted. And I also ended up adding some chandeliers and this... I don't know what to call it, but it's also like some candles on the wall. And I add those in a couple of places as well as this more... as this older lamp. I think it's supposed to be like an oil lamp. But anyway, I added those there and I have two chandeliers in here. I ended up going for the ones from Jungle Adventure. I think I preferred that they looked a bit simpler than the ones from Get Together. Those were a bit more ornate. And now I have just added that, that rock and a fireplace as well as some tools. This is one of my most used objects. I have it in all builds that have a fireplace, I think. And I also wanted it to have a picture and like a smaller picture, I suppose. The big one is from Laundry Day and the smaller is from Eco Lifestyle. They are both on Debug. And I did use a lot of Debug in this house, in both inside it and also for landscaping. I ended up having some flour, sugar and something else on top of the fridge. 
that's something else was also from Eco Lifestyle as well as the kombucha jar. I really don't like kombucha, I have tried it and I hate it, <laughs> but I really liked how that small jar looked and I figured it might be something like honey or maybe jam. So I added that as well as some cookies and also some outdoor lighting. I also wanted to add some candles to the to the bathroom and I noticed that I didn't have any bookcases in here and for me bookcases are a must in The Sims. I can't imagine having no books, it's just like a necessity for me. So I added the shelf from the book nook kit on top of the stove and I added some books to it as well as some more clutter. And I did play test this, I think everything is functional or at least everything that's like necessary for survival is functional. But anyway, I think now we're just going to be adding some finishing touches and that's going to be it for the build. If you enjoyed this video, I would appreciate it if you left a like and if you haven't subscribed to my channel, it would help it grow if you did. I post videos twice a week. Also, I do take suggestions if there's something that you would like to see me build. So feel free to leave any that you might have down in the comments. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time.